Hello again. It's me. I'm back. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I can leave that in. But anyway, carrying on. Um, yeah, I'm back out again. It's midweek. Uh, another new woodland. Uh, this is probably 10 minutes from my house. I was actually on my way to a completely different set of woodland. And I thought along the way, I was like, oh, I've not really been in there before. Let's go and see what this is like. So, uh, yeah, 10 minutes from my house. You can see it's all pine woodland. Looks really nice, actually. But it's, uh, it's all on a hill. I've got a hammock with me, so the hill doesn't matter too much. Um, but hopefully I can find a semi-flat spot that, uh, hello, over here, I can, uh, yeah, set up on. So, uh, right, I'll take you along. Let's see what we can find. Uh, yeah, I've just found a spot on the, on the map. I had a good look and uh, a lot of this seems to be, well, it's definitely coniferous, but there's a, there's a seam of uh, deciduous trees that seem to run through it. You can see some of them there behind me, the big trees. And that seems to run right over the top of the hill. I think if I can get in there and follow that seam through, I'll come out on the other side of the hill, which is where I'd like to be. I'm leaving it pretty late. It gets starting to get dark earlier now. It's already gone six. Quick one midweek, so see what I can find in here. Hopefully, there'll be something suitable. Right, yeah. scrap that. I tried to get in there. It's just too thick. I can't get through. It was like behind me. It's just thick. So uh, yeah, plan two. And see if I make my way around it somehow. See if there's a another way in. It's all very young pines. Don't really fancy camping in that. It's just dark and dingy and horrible. So, uh, but it's so thick there's no way through it. Try again. <laughs> Rejoice. Search and he shall find. Look what I found. Lovely little opening in amongst the coniferous forest is over there. This is on the edge of it. And I've got a nice little grassy opening. There's actually an old fire pit in here. So it looks like someone's been here at some point in the past, but it's not been used in a long time, I can see. So I am gonna call this home for tonight. This will do. There's some oak here, so there's some good wood. Uh, I've just got my little fire box, although I wouldn't, I could have a little fire if I do it properly. Yeah, let's get myself set up and I shall check back in with you lot in a little bit. Right, this is it. This is my spot. I'm going to camp in a hole. <laughs> you can, I can't quite tell from where you are, but you might be able to see that tree up behind me and this bank. I'm sort of stood in a hole. It's not that I'm short, I am short but it's mainly because I'm stood in a big hole. I think I'm gonna use the tree that you're on. You're propped on a tree. I'm gonna use this one behind me. I'm gonna string the hammock between. And uh, yeah, I can like just sunk below the ground here. It's a little bit, I have no idea what it was. It looks like it could have been, could have been almost a little pond at some point. I'm gonna have to be a little bit careful. There's a lot of duff down here on the floor, which I need to be a bit careful of, but um, Well, that was fun, trying to get that set up. There's not really, the trees are kind of too thick, so it's hard to get it wrapped around and get the hammock right. So I've had to go off branches, which is made, it's quite a steep angle down to the hammock, which then means it's a bit more of a banana. It's, yeah, it's a right old faff, I think. I think I've got it, I've got a uh, little shelter down there. Oh, you can see it's down in the hole from here.
it's been absolutely throwing it down today. It's been really wet, so uh, everything is, is wet. So I'm going to try and split some of this wood down as much as I can and then probably try and do a, a little feather stick or something. Right, I couldn't get a spark into that so I've resorted, I've got a little bit of birch bark so I'm just fluffing up the side of it and put a spark into this and then hopefully I can then tra transfer my feather stick into that. There we go. Hey everyone, so it's um, what's the time? Uh, it's just got nine. I've been sat here relaxing, um, not really doing very much at all to be honest. But uh, this is normally the time when I would do the whole cooking thing. But if I'm honest, I think everyone's seen that a million times. I tell you now, I'm gonna have a steak, I'm gonna have some mushrooms and onions with it fried up. Uh, and then I'm going to do a little potato with it. That's it. We've all seen that before. <laughs> I think I think everyone's seen that before. And I think... So what I'm going to do is... It's a clear night tonight. I'm going to... I'm going to try and do a nice... Um, star lapse. Now... In a few minutes... It'll either come back to me... Going... Oh no, <laughs> I screwed that up didn't I? <laughs> and it didn't work. Uh, or, in a minute or so, it's going to cut to a beautiful star time lapse. <laughs> Morning all. It's uh, what's the time? Quarter seven. Quarter seven in the morning. It was a clear, clear night all night. It was lovely actually. Sat and chilled. Had some food. Yeah, in my little hobbit hole down there. Um, it's a bit dewy this morning. A bit misty. Um, but it was a lovely, lovely night and. I think, I think it worked. I think the time lapse worked. I actually got up at, I think it was about three, half past three and checked and there was, I think about 20 photos left on that time lapse. So I stopped it and started a new one. And I think the second one picked up a bit of the Milky Way. So uh, I'm being a proper nerd about this, I know, but I, um, 
I do love a bit of photography. I used to be a photographer. I used to, um, used to do it for quite a, quite a while, actually. A uh, wedding photographer. I'm the worst of the photographers, I'm told. <laughs> but, uh, no, I enjoyed it. And I still enjoy it. So, uh, yeah, it's been really nice. Sort of video documenting my little trips away. Um, because it's given me the excuse to uh, geek out with cameras. And uh, do these time lapses and stuff which is awesome so anyway I'm just waffling about nothing now so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get myself packed away um, this sort of area or not too far from here there's like a tower or an old monument if you like just over here I'm not too far away from it actually so uh, there will definitely be dog walkers around here at some point this morning. I don't think it'll be till a little bit later, but I'm gonna get myself packed up, get myself a little coffee on, and then I'm gonna hit the road. So, uh, yeah, I'll smash you with a load of B-roll now. I'll see you on the next one. Like, I really appreciate everybody who's followed along, that, that people are giving a little thumbs up and stuff. It's uh, it's nice just to get that feedback um, that people are, enjoy are enjoying them. Um, like I said at the start, I really did this to document it for myself. I know everybody says that, but I, I really did. I've been doing this for years um, in one form or another. And um, yeah, it was just, you, you, you quickly forget your trips. You go and do them and then you, you kind of forget them. So, um, just to be able to look back on them from time to time is nice. When I'm old and crepid, I'll be able to look back on my videos. <laughs> I'm already old and decrepit, but uh, uh, yeah. So I do appreciate everybody, you know, the little comments and stuff. It's, uh, it, it is nice to kind of read, I guess, that, that, that people are appreciating it. Um, so yeah, keep doing it and, uh, and thanks again.